you know, people have been pissing me off in the comments because they keep commenting all this positive nonsense. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, I laughed so hard last night. I literally woke up my neighbors. Okay, I'm sick of it. So I'm here to react to Tom McFarlane because I'm feeling the sentiment. People are so stupid. People are so stupid. You say one thing and they, they misconstrue it and they, they think you meant something else. D did you even listen to the words? Okay, people think that I do satirical reactions. Like I, I do I do joke reaction. No. Every word I say I mean. And every say I every mean I I do what I mean. Okay? So Tom I've never heard of Tom McFarlane. He might be related to Seth, I'm not sure, but people so stupid. Here we go, man. To you better you better trash people, man. You better trash him because I'm interested. Hi, I'm praying that the world changes soon. Can't get a doobie on a plane, but there's Uzis in our schools. Every dude who touched a boob or a booty getting me too. What you expect from the kids who went to Hooters after school? We're all triggered. And I, okay, 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 okay. But he's go he's coming really fast. Okay, some some people have referred to Tom McFarlane as a minute man because he comes so fast with it. I want to address the Uzis in the schools. I support I support Uzis in our schools. I agree with Tom. I don't think I'm misconstruing what he's saying. We need in fact, let's get ARs in our schools. Let we need more guns in the schools. That's the problem, really. Okay, somebody comes in with an Uzi. What do you how are you going to an Uzi can shoot like, you know, like fast? How are you going to compete with that? Let's move. We need more guns in the schools. Thank you, Tom, dude. He's saying the stuff no one's willing to say. Get more guns in the schools and let's smoke weed on planes. That's obvious. He's saying we need to get like people say getting high. It's like, well, what's the point of literally getting high if you can't get high while you're high? You, you, under, you guys get it. I mean, you understand the truth I'm speaking, and thank God for Tom McFarlane for speaking the truth, too. And defensive, we're all racist and we're sexist. We all grew up watching South Park. How are we offended? Now, being fat is beautiful. Name a thing that you can't do. Jump. Thank God, dude, fat people. Being fat is beautiful, and I, it's about damn time Tom admitted it. Okay, look, I've seen the videos of Tom. Okay, I've seen the videos of Tom fucking fat people. They say, oh, he's faithful to his girlfriend. You know, it's like, no, Tom's got a fetish for people of a larger size. I believe the proper, um, the politically correct term is, um, I think it is fat. It's just fucking fat people. Like, that's the politically correct term. And it's about time Tom said it. It's about time he said it. Jumping jacks, run a mile, live past 42. Man, it used to be cool to just flip a bird to the system. And now it's trendy to be triggered and pretend you're a victim. It's my race. It's my weight. It's because I'm a Christian. I hate the internet and anyone who has an opinion. And thank every God. I hate, dude. Thank God, Tom. I fucking hate the internet. <laughs> and I hate anyone who has an opinion on my shit. Dude, I started a YouTube channel so I could watch my own videos on YouTube. People started showing up. People started showing up like this was public for them. Like they like they had a right to watch my shit. And, and they they ha they had the audacity to have fucking opinions. They had to, thank God, Tom, we need more censorship, man. And and I really think that's what uh, Mr. McFarland is trying to like communicate is like we need to shut down freedom of speech. It's becoming a problem. We've got we've got Alex Jones back on Twitter. Shut it down. Okay, I, I, I heard a song the other day where someone said, you should fly American flags. Let me say it again. I heard a song by someone recently saying, you should fly American flags. Can you believe the fucking fascism? Can you believe how outspoken these people are? You should fly American flags. Oh my God, what's next? What's next?
Holocaust Part 2, obviously. One one minute you're flying an American flag. Next thing you know, you're you're waging an ethnic war. You know? Tom gets it, man. He gets it and and I appreciate um I really appreciate Tom McFarlane and what he does. Everybody angry if you say white. Okay, fine. Pass me the brush and I'll paint my face to the shades right. Let's talk about abortion. Good. Sorry, tell me how this works. Bacteria is life on Mars, but a heartbeat isn't life on Earth. Weird. Yeah. No, that that's a fact. Yeah, but no, I mean like just because bacteria is life on Mars, I don't know. Tom's trying to compare like he's pointing out that people are comparing apples to tomatoes and there's no similarity like you might say oh they're both red they're not okay it's an optical illusion tomatoes are green everyone knows it okay tomatillos are actually orange so it's a whole fucked up situation but back to the real point that tom is trying to make here bacteria is life on mars but just because something is true on mars does not mean that if you have a, an unborn human child that has a heartbeat so what who the fuck care? i mean that doesn't mean it's alive it doesn't mean it's a thing i you know i appreciate that tom realizes the hypocrisy in things and he points it out okay i really do and i think that's that's kind of what he's doing here he's saying guys we should have latest like we should abort babies after they're born like we should be able to just kill people <clears throat> Like just he, I I don't mean like post birth abortion. I mean like literally post birth mur like just find an adult you don't like because you don't want to have them or in your life or around and just fucking kill them. And Tom, thank you for it's a. I I thought no one was gonna say it. I really thought no one was gonna say it the whole time. The whole time I thought no one was gonna say it, and then Tom finally grabbed his Canadian nuts. Tom McFarland. Seth, I believe he's Seth McFarland's uh, nephew. He grabbed his Canadian maple syrup filled ball sack and he said it. We should legalize murder. What is this law against murder? Thank you, Tom. Thank you. They are, man. I can't tell you how many times they do a reaction and somebody completely misconstrues what I'm trying to say. It's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. I mean, people are so stupid. People not say, hang on. People so stupid. People so dumb. People so boo hoo hoo. Boo hoo. Wah wah wah. Okay? People are not stupid. People so stupid. Okay? Intelligence. Use it every once in a minute. It so I'm a hater because I can't relate to gay pride. Call me homophobic because I don't want to date guys. K tight. I, for one, I'm not surprised the world declined along the way. Could yeah, no, really. I mean, I agree. Like, if you don't want to get on your knees and suck another man's cock, I don't know. To me, like, call me crazy, but that's really homophobic. Like, if you don't want to get face fucked, if you don't want to get face fucked by a man, I mean, you're obviously, first of all, a closeted homosexual. So you should just come out. You should just try it. Experiment a little bit. But number two, you're the worst kind of closeted homosexual. You are a closeted homosexual who's a homophobic person. And that mixture is like, you might as well worship the devil. Trophies to children for losing just because they decide to play. We exercise our right to vote and hate the politicians. Hey, this is a democracy. It's partly your decision. Hey, this is weird. Feels like this is a different year. If I identify as a female, then when my balls and penis disappear, children want. Yes, yes, they will. You know, Tom understands science. And he seems to be, he's addressing, the thing I love about this video so far is it's not like he's jumping from one topic to another before you can even digest it. It's not like he's going into a single, uh, 
you, you know, it's not, it, it, I love that he's going really deep into each topic. He's going really deep into each topic here. He's not jumping around and just saying one line about one thing and then another line about a completely other thing and a different separate political issue. Tom is digging deep into each issue and he just dug really deep into transgenderism. And so, you know, science is a, a fact. Science is real. In case, in case there are people out there watching this who didn't know science is real, and you know global heating is a major issue and people don't really understand how much of an issue it is because they don't think science is real they think like their opinions are real they think their thoughts are real they think their opinion means something and that's really the mistake okay freedom of expression is the worst thing that the western world has created and tried to give other countries since democracy. I swear to God, we need to shut it. Democracy, voting, having any kind of say, uh, expression of of opinions. Fuck comedy. Don't get me started on comedy, man. All these fucking comedians. They're the kind of people that I wish we could legalize post birth abortion murder to just kill the adults who are comedians because it needs to stop it needs to stop and people are going to be like dude this video you're doing is ridiculous youtube's going to shut you down and i disagree and your opinion is stupid your opinion is so dumb and boo who who wah 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 okay like i don't even i could just play the song and he's gonna say everything i agree with because if, if you find one thing you disagree with on a person, they probably are a piece of shit. And they probably are terrible human beings. And you shouldn't be friends with them. And you should probably just like commit acts of violence against people who disagree with you, even in the slightest fashion. You know, let's we need more medieval barbarism in our society. I think that's what it's missing. People are like man you know the technology people stay inside they sit in front of their computers and they do stupid reaction videos and they watch youtube all the time no no no, that's not the problem the problem is there's not enough violence um in our world and seriously we need to change the laws i agree with tom we need to change the laws because it's getting out of hand the peace is getting out of hand we need more violence i say it all the time on the channel people they think i'm joking it's not comedy guys i want to kill comedians okay dave Chappelle. oh my god bullet to the head bill burr bullet to the head uh joe rogan oh fuck it shoot joe rogan man you kidding me joe rogan more like ho jogan ho joking that's you know joke funny not funny don't tell jokes on a gender switch and hating men is feminist depression and anxiety are trendy we're too sensitive invented 80 genders mad the world is not accepting it then gave them more attention than normal women and men can get what a contradiction being human is so tragic focus on minorities ignoring all the masses hallelujah everyone activism save the planet no more plastic straws and paper just papers you know hang on hang on hang on Let's just rewind it a little bit here. Can get what a contradiction being human is so tragic. Focus on minorities, ignoring all the masses. Hallelujah, good, everyone. Yeah. Activism save the planet. No more plastic straws and paper. Just paper straws wrapped in plastic. Congratulations. You know, I um, I agree with Tom. We do need more of it. We need more papers, paper straws wrapped in plastic. Because if you look at the fractionality of paper usage to plastic environmental causes, causes, the environmental causes of plastic use is predicament to the fact that we need more paper straws on the planet and we need to wrap them in plastic. Because how is plastic going to feel? If we don't use it, it's like having a friend that you invite to the barbecue, but you tell everyone, oh, but don't use, don't talk to them. 
you know it's going to alienate plastic and then plastic in turn is going to hurt our environment because it feels alienated that's how science works uh, once again tom mcfarland killing it he's killing it man couldn't agree more with every single word that this guy who lives in los angeles who's canadian who speaks of american patriotism more i couldn't agree more with the guy you know i even heard somewhere that tom mcdonald jizzes maple syrup who would have known i would drink tom's cum i would drink tom's cum <laughs> and even better i would jerk tom off next to my pancakes just so i could have a tasty breakfast <laughs> Oh God. Why are y'all so stupid? Get better problems, I swear to God that y'all want them, y'all so dumb. People so stupid, people so dumb, people so boo who want Yeah, your girlfriend is stupid and dumb. Look at him pointing to his girl how thank you, man. Like there's such all the men in the world now are castrated and thank God that Tom hates his girlfriend um you know i don't think there's enough men in the world who like express their hatred for their partners um and thank thank you for tom you know thank tom thank toms tom tom thank you for hating your girl i mean it's it's her heroic it's courageous we need to see more of it in our society frankly hatred of women totally totally on board with it hatred of comedians women freedom of expression um all the stuff tom is saying i could not agree more with i could not agree more with what tom's saying i, I can i can't stress enough how serious i am i can't stress enough how serious i am and also if you are enjoying this video do not like my channel do not subscribe do not recommend because too many fucking people like I said, they're coming to my channel and they're like, oh, your shit's hilarious. Dude, I'm not joking. Okay? People are like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm busting a nut laughing at your videos. I'm not joking. I'm serious. Fuck you guys. I don't want the subs. I don't want the likes. I don't want the comments. I don't want to have to quit my job at McDonald's to do YouTube the whole time and make more money than I could have made in another place i'm actually happen to be going from the kitchen to customer service because they really think i have potential there so like point being stay the fuck off my channel last time i'm saying it get better issues we're gonna run out of tissues it's so dumb Look, I get it. It's like the world is going crazy. Seems like a school shooting happens almost daily. The racism, rape culture, hatred that we're facing is way too ingrained for our hashtags to change it. Thank God he said it. The, the hatred, the racism, and the rape culture we're facing is too ingrained for your hashtags to save it. So why are we trying to fight it? You know, that's what he's saying. He's saying just let it happen, okay? Tom, oh my God, I'm going to do more Tom McFarlane reactions because he speaks to my soul. Like, just let let people be people. Whatever happens, happens. You know, we shouldn't have moral codes. That's what Tom's saying, and I couldn't agree more. We've become so lazy and complacent, afraid of our generation. We think activism's Instagramming memes and complaining. It's a problem yeah. when there's actually actions you could be taking, but you're triggered, so you just cry like a baby. Tell him. Tell him, man. Yeah, dumb, obviously. I mean, her hair is bleached, so of course. And by the way, this, this is Tom. This Tom saying they're so dumb and he's pointing at his girlfriend. So I'm not the one saying it, but I do support his right to trash his girlfriend in his music videos. Um, so 
that being said, I'm going to wrap this one up. And once again, do not subscribe, like, recommend stuff. Don't comment to help the algorithm for the videos. Whatever you do, don't comment. Don't, like, just, just stay away from the channel. In fact, I'm going to wrap this up before people start getting bright ideas, man. This shit's been getting ridiculous.